So welcome to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today we will be discussing about solving quadratic equation using the fourth method which is known as the use of the quadratic formula. So the first three methods were discussed in the previous videos, namely extracting square roots. So ito yung first method natin na discussed. The second one is using factoring. And then the third one is the use of completing the square. So the last method of solving is given by the use of the quadratic formula. So the topic for today will be based on the most essential learning competencies. So nasa melts pa rin siya. So the objective will be to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So ano ba yung mga dapat nating tandaan when we are dealing with the quadratic formula? Okay? So the quadratic formula is used in all types of quadratic equations. And it is most convenient to use if the quadratic equation is not factorable. But lilinawi natin na si quadratic formula, mapapactorable man yan or hindi, pwede siyang gamitin. So what is the quadratic formula? So the quadratic formula is given by x equals negative b, positive negative or plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So again, x equals negative b plus minus or positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So paano ba tayo magsasolve ng quadratic equations gamit ang quadratic formula? So let us now have the steps. So we have four steps. So ano ba yung una nating dapat tandaan? So we should make sure that the equation is in its standard form. So ano ba ang ating standard form in, when it comes to quadratic equation? ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So after natin mas standard form, ang kasunod na gagawin, we will be identifying the values of a, b, and c. So importante na malaman natin si value ni a, b, and c. Bakit? Kasi yung mga values na yon ang ating isa substitute sa ating quadratic formula, which is step number 3. So after natin mas substitute yung mga values ni a, b, and c, sa quadratic formula, ang kasunod will be simplifying the equation. So, isimplify natin yun para makuha natin yung mga values ni unknown variable. So, para malaman natin kung paano talaga mag-solve ng quadratic equation gamit ang quadratic formula, let us have example number 1. Example number 1 is given by solve x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 8 using the quadratic formula. So, step number 1 tayo. We need to rewrite this equation in standard form. So, kung matapansin natin, si x squared minus 6x equals negative 8 is not yet in its standard form. So, kailangan si negative 8 nasa kabilang side ng equation. So, kailangan sama-sama sila. So, how are we going to do that? We need to transfer negative 8 to the other side of the equation. You can use addition property or subtraction property or we can just transpose. So, when we are transposing terms, so si negative 8 will become positive. So, making a new equation, x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. So, if you can see, this equation now is in its standard form. Pero, factorable to. But in this case, let us use the quadratic formula in order for us to solve this equation. So, step number 2. We need to identify the values of a, b, and c. So again, we are given the standard form, x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. The values of a, b, and c ang pasunod natin nga hanapin. So ano nga ba ang value ni a? Kung mapapansin natin, wala ang numerical coefficient. So that is the invisible 1. Meron talaga yung numerical coefficient na 1. So therefore, the value of our a will be 1. Next, what will be the value of our b? Si B ang numerical coefficient ni linear term. So therefore, in this case, the value of B is negative 6. And then for the last one, the value of C. So what is the value of C? The value of C is positive 8. So kailangan alam natin kung positive ba or negative yung values ni A, B, and C. Ha? So we need to consider that. So next, after natin makuha yung values ni A, B, and C, we will now be substituting all the values A, B, and C to our given quadratic formula. So, i-replace natin yung value ni B, yung value ni A, 
at saka yung value ni C dito sa quadratic formula. Also, let us now fill in the blanks. So, negative B. So, ano dapat yung number na nahan dito? So, that will be negative 6 since the value of B is negative 6. Next, positive negative square root of B squared. So, ano dapat yung nahan dito? So, that will be also the value of B which is negative 6. Minus 4, A. So, ano yung value ni A na ilalagay natin dito? So, that will be 1 times C. So, the value of A here is 8. All over 2 times A. So, what will be the value of A here that we are going to use? So, that will be 1. So, ayan. So, kung mapapansin natin na substitute na natin yung values ni A, B, and C sa quadratic formula. So, importante rin na kailangan natin i-consider na kapag tayo ay substitute ng values ni A, B, and C sa quadratic formula, kailangan natin siyang gamitan ng parentheses para hindi tayo manito when we are to simplify the given equation. So, ayan. So, next, we need to simplify this equation in order for us to get the values of x. Okay? So, kapag sinimplify natin yan, ito ang magiging sagot. Pero bakit naging ganito? So, negative times negative 6. So, this will be positive 6. Since negative times negative is positive. Next, dito naman tayo sa loob ng square root sign. So, negative 6 squared or negative 6 times negative 6 that will become positive 36. Kaya siya 36 dito. So, next, Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 8, that will be negative 32. So, kaya siya nagkaroon ng negative 32 dito or minus 32. All over 2 times 1, that will be equal to 2. Okay? So, kaya tayo nagkaroon ng ganitong simplest form na itong equation na given na pinagsubstitute natin ng values ni A, B, and C. So, kung mapapansin natin, pwede pa natin itong isimplify. Etong nasa loob, pwede pa nating isubtract. So let us consider that. So 36 minus 32 that will be 4. So the equation will be x equals 6 positive negative square root of 4 all over 2. Pero alam natin yung yung square root ni 4. Ano bang square root ni 4? So that will be 2. So we will now be having an equation x is equal to 6 positive negative 2 all over 2. Ngayon, Ito na yung panahon na paghihiwalayin natin yung values ni 2. Since meron siyang dalawang values dito, merong isang positive at yung isa ay negative. So, paghiwalayin natin. So, yung una, x equals 6 plus 2 all over 2. So, ito yung positive na value ni 2. Okay? So, next, hiwalayin natin yung negative. So, the other one should be x equals 6 minus 2 all over 2. So, ito naman yung negative value ni 2. So next, dito muna tayo sa unang equation. x is equal to 6 plus 2 all over 2. So kung mapapansin natin si numerator, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify. So 6 plus 2, that will be 8. So now, the result will be x is equal to 8 over 2. But we all know if we are going to get the quotient of 8 divided by 2, the result will be 4. So therefore, the first value of x will be 4. So next, Dito naman tayo sa second equation, given by x is equal to 6 minus 2 all over 2. So, isimplify natin ulit yung numerator. So, 6 minus 2, that will be 4. So, we will now be having a new equation, x is equal to 4 over 2. Again, si 4 divided by 2 can still be simplified, which is x equals 2. So, therefore, ang solutions ng equation natin kanina, given by x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 8 will be 4 and 2. Okay? So next, let us have example number 2. So example number 2, we are given by solve 2x squared minus 3x is equal to 4 using the quadratic formula. So mas maganda rin gamitin si quadratic formula kapag tayong value ni a ay hindi siya equal kay 1 or greater than 1 or less than 1. Okay, so step number one, we need to rewrite this equation in standard form. So, C4, ilipat natin sa kabila, again, by the use of addition property, subtraction property, or we can just transpose. So, when we are transposing 4, since positive yan, magiging negative. 
which will give us a new equation, 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so next, step number 2. We need to identify the values of a, b, and c. And if you can see, this equation is not factorable. So talagang gagamitin natin si quadratic formula. So out of the given equation, 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0, ano kaya yung values ni a, b, and c? Doon muna tayo sa value ni a. So the value of a is positive 2. How about the value of b? The value of b is negative 3. And then of course, the value of c, the value of c is negative 4. So after nating ma-identify yung values ni a, b, and c, ang kasunod nating gagawin will be to substitute those values to our quadratic formula. Okay? So x equals negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us now fill in the blanks. So negative b. So negative of what? So what will be the value of b here? The value of b is negative 3. Positive negative is square root of so, b squared daw yan. So, ano yung dapat yung value dito? The value of b is negative 3 squared minus 4 times a. Ano daw yung value ni a? So, that will be 2 in case of our equation. Next, how about the value of c? The value of c is negative 4 all over 2 times the value of a. The value of a again is Ang susunod na natin gagawin ngayon is to simplify the equation. So, bakit ba naging ganito yung kanyang uh, simplified form? Kasi, negative times negative 3 will give us positive 3. And then, positive negative square root of b squared, which is negative 3 squared, that will result to negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Let us now go to this part of the equation. So, negative 4. So, lagi natin nga alalahanin na negative 4 ito kasi minus 4 ito. So, negative 4 times 2, so that will be negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 4, that will be positive 32. Kaya siya nagkaroon dito ng positive 32. All over 2 times 2, that will be 4. Next, kung mapapansin natin, yung nasa loob na terms can still be simplified. So, that will be... 9 plus 32 will give us 41. So the equation will now be x is equal to 3, positive negative is square root of 41 all over 4. So if you can see, 41 is not a perfect square. At saka hindi natin siya masisimplify. Okay? So therefore, if we are going to get the values of x, paghiwalayin na lang natin. Yung una, that will be x equals 3, positive is square root of 41. So ito yung positive na a value ni square root of 41 and then the other one will be x is equal to 3 minus ito naman yung negative value ni square root of 41 minus square root of 41 all over 4. So therefore, the solutions of our equation given by 2x squared minus 3x equals 4 are 3 plus square root of 41 all over 4 and 3 minus square root of 41 all over 4. So, ganun lang kadali mag-solve uh, ng quadratic equations by quadratic formula. So, now, it is your turn. So, you may pause the video for a while and then try to answer the following equations using the quadratic formula. So, the first equation is given by 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. And then, the second one is given by x squared minus 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, sulit na dito will be our answer key.
So what are your answers? Let us now check kung tama ba yung sagot mo sa ating equations. So for number 1, ang sagot will be x equals negative 5 thirds comma 1. And then for the second one, that will be 7 minus square root of 57 all over 2 comma 7 plus square root of 57 all over 2. So we are now through with the four methods of solving quadratic equations. So merong extracting square roots, factoring, completing the square, and then the last one we discussed natin today would be the use of the quadratic formula. I hope that this video helps you in solving quadratic equations. Kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video na ito, kindly hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more video lessons. This is Sir Jude. Good day!